with how to configure transaction accounting definition for IC as an intercompany. So let me first tell you what we will do in this video. Let's get into applications. Just go to any intercompany transactions. In case of I am going to create a new transactions, create transactions for IC as intercompany transactions. All of us know what is data here, what which organization will be provider, blah blah blah, and go down. You will find the distributions. For example, if I select any org, date, amount, select which organization will be receiver. For example, this what is the debit, and go to down here to start to enter the distributions for provider for receiver. Just click here. Here, in some cases, your requirement to make a default combination for distribution account for both provider and receivers. The conditions, the requirements, it's different from organization to organization, from place to place, blah, blah, blah. So in this video, I will talk about how to automatically derive this account combination for distributions of provider organizations and receiver organizations. There are two lines of the accounting. If you know, let's get into Excel sheet. That once you make any intercompany between either two or more organizations, the accounting entries, as you know, that there are, as we said before, the provider distribution, receiver distribution. For example, which is account is debit, which account is credit, which organization is payable, which organization is receivables. And once you save or complete the transactions, there are two lines more will be generated from the system. This is which the name of these two lines is intercompany. balance line intercompany balance lines this intercompany balance lines is by default this depends on your setup for intercompany balancing rule so there are two lines for provider receiver and this account and the two other lines to make a balance for provider one line for provider another line for receivers this generated by the systems first how these two or these two lines of intercompany balance line generated depends on the it, uh, setup of intercompany balancing room let's get into application let me duplicate all this go to setup and maintenance and make here balancing rule or intercompany balancing manage intercompany balancing rules for functional area intercompany this is all of us know that either in e-business or fusions you have to select which ledger to ledger you have a lot of set up here either by legal entity by ledger rule by ba primary balance segment by chart of account rules there are a lot of videos related to these balancing rules so here you will tell the systems from this ledger to this ledger from this, this legal entity which is related to this ledger to this legal entity which also is related to these ledgers the receivable account will be the payable account will be start date end date and the source source and which category which transaction type transaction types may be in some cases maybe in all of us we define specific transaction types for intercompany so you can 
come here to tell the systems that for this transaction type the payable account and the, the receivable account between these two legal entities will be this and this this is the balance lines or intercompany balancing lines which will be generated after you complete or approved the intercompany or even if after saved the IC or intercompany transactions this area depends on intercompany balancing rules configuration so here it's up to you either none 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 or other or none or a specific transaction type so the system know that for for example for the transaction type all other it will generate payable account and receive for these receivable accounts between these two legal entity to make a balance between this organization and this organization but again i will not talk about this this is which is generated and they will make it one time either by all others or none or by specific rules transaction type category source whatever again you can come here to end date again to again end the date of this and make a new one and so on so i will talk about as i told you before that the distribution account for distribution for provider and receiver this account how you make it default after you make it default you can make it freeze as a freeze fill the freeze which is by sandbox to restrict the users to enter or to update these two accounts sandbox there are also a lot of sandbox to freeze specific field in a specific form so you can just the same way that you have to create sandbox uh, enter and they create and then come here to start to make customization select a specific field like account and make it editable yes or no after that publish the sandbox then you i think from my point of view that you have complete the cycles to default the account and restrict the users to uh, change it or blah 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 so let's start by our slides maybe you didn't get anything from <laughs> the slides but anyway try to get something because as you know the speaking without practice is nothing so you have to practice to read uh, first get what you can to get then you can start to practice so let's start by our slides first then go to setup then try to make one transactions to check our setups all of us know the cycles but before that you have to collect the requirement very well so let's start by introduction tab or tad or whatever is a new concept in oracle cloud applications it replaces all period account account generators solutions before before Oracle Cloud, there was a similar need to default transaction accounts in Oracle eBusiness, Microsoft, uh, BeebleSoft, whatever. That need has been filled by different solutions. For example, in Oracle eBusiness, Oracle Purchasing Music Account Generator. If you remember this field of or this feature, the account generator workflow to drive account code combinations on PO and PR. Oracle Purchasing provides default account as the account generator process for you to use. If the defaults don't satisfy your account requirement, you can use Oracle Workflow Builder to customize the default processes in Oracle Cloud applications, the account generator workflow, which is was in eBusiness, is replaced by tab or transaction account builder. Oracle Cloud applications delivers predefined accounting defaulting rules with tab so these rules address the common defaults scenarios and facilities for the rule extensions avoiding the needs of customers or implementer to create them from scratch for example in oracle purchasing there are default account for accrual account for charge account for variance account blah 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 this is by default 
in case of your customer or your organization need to make something change it depends on custom rule depends on customization different scenarios so you have to update it or create your own tab or transaction accounting builder and replace the default by your customized one to understanding this is in Oracle or whatever before start to implement or set up you have to understanding the business to set up tab to derive accounts you must understand the business requirement that derive the accounts on your transactions like a business analyst or business developer he must set with the stakeholders with the business users to collect all of the requirements before starting to set up the tab different business can have completely different requirement it's, it's true right from something simple such as driving the charge account from requester default expense account to move complex flow involving projects segments see uh, substitutions rules uh, transaction types blah 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 the first step is to analyze the requirement and the use cases not only in tab or tad or whatever anything in oracle first you have to analyze it's important to understand and formulate your business needs how you would like to drive the accounts on the either procurement i see blah 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 also you have to make a map between the requirement and the oracle system functionalities we have three scenarios first thing that it's applicable or doable through standard solutions second you can follow work around shared solution like a technical or like customize something uh, implement lookup blah 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 this will enable you to evaluate whether the predefined default setup works for your organization or not if not so you have to need to modify the setup for your specific business needs the building blocks in order to understand the tab transaction accounting builder as you know that understanding the business before you set up tab to drive account you must understand the business requirement we first need to understand the building blocks of tab or transaction accounting builder these building blocks make up the structure of the tab this is the structure TED transaction accounting definitions under it there are TED transaction accounting types after that there are a lot of rules or code combinations for account combination rules segment override account combination mapping source all of this and we will see all of this in our setup at the top level as you see the transaction accounting definitions which define the account rule assignments that are used to drive the transaction account on either which is order requisition intercompany blah 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 we have a lot of or this tab is covered payables fixed assets intercompany procurement you will see it later this includes rules which define the intercom account combination as well as rules which can define how certain segments of the account are generated in other words that specific which rules should be used to derive which accounts on for example procurement ic whatever will be generated transaction account types as a tet transaction account types are elements which represent each transaction account on procurement uh, IC transaction whatever account rule account segments for each transaction account type are derived from account rules a rule can apply to the entire account combination or just for a specific or particular segments as you know that our chart of accounts there are a lot of segments so you are going to make crea create account rule for a specific segment or for the entire account combination like specific segment or whatever each account rule compresses one or more rules with specified condition which 
dictate when they are applied so it depends on these rules the system will trace these rules during creation the transaction account rule conditions means conditions that in the account rules you may specify conditions because as we said that by default rules it's not matching with your requirement so you are going to create your custom tab or tad why because you have specific conditions so these specific conditions you have to assign it through account rule conditions as i told you depends on specific attributes depends on transaction type depends on amount blah 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 and when the condition is met the rules associated with that priority is used depending on which of the defined conditions is met a different account rule detail is employed to create the account set up accounting combination rules you set up account combination rules based on the following value types first of saying the source to derive the account combination by specific source sources that have been set up as accounts can be assigned to an account combination rules oracle fusion subledger accounting then obtains the code combination identifier from the source for example variance account can be derived from a charge account that is set up as a source we will see also the source later constant that you creating a countering rule for a specific segment to be a specific or constant value that for for example the constant could be completed account an example here that this account combination is a constant value for account code combination or you can choose a specific segment and with specific value to be a constant also we will see it later else mapping set mapping that drives account combination by referencing a mapping set set up mapping set to determine the complete account combination from the chart of accounts specified also we will see it later that we will create a mapping set for example if i need to generate or to drive counting depends on the transaction type so in this case you have to create first mapping set to tell the system that this mapping set for our transaction type if the system or the user enter transaction type x the account will be y if the user enter transaction type z the account type will be z and so on here you can set up mapping set when map for example ship to organization or intercompany transaction type and so on see this is an example that for the org one please drive this account for org b drive this account for c blah 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 for the account rule type to drive the account by referencing another account rule you have to define this type of rule without specifying a chart of accounts because you will and this is specific for purchasing to drive the account by another account as a reference if the account rule has a chart of account assigned then all related account rules must use the same chart of account or no chart of accounts either the same chart of account or no chart of account for example if you charge if you recharge and the accrual account share the same derivation logic one account rule can be used as a source for both of them also we will see the parameter of chart of accounting during the setup now set up segment rules as follows when chart of account is specified you have to create a rule to derive the value for a specific segment from the chart of accounts if you specify the chart of account you have to spe select the specific e segment and specific values of the segment if the chart of account is not specified you have to create a rule to derive the value of account segments with a specific qualifier set up segment rules using the same methods discussed before by specifying different values user can select the way in which the segment value is derived mapping set as we said that mapping set can be used to associate a specific output value for account or segment you can use mapping set in the account rule to build the account 
in the mapping set you will say you will say what if the input is the sorry if the input is x the output will y if the input is a the output will be c and so on use mapping set to quickly define a specific output value with a count or segment based on the output as i told you or reference information a specific value can be assigned to segment values can be also assigned to all segments mapping set provide an efficient way to find the output values and are easier than using a count rule condition to define mapping set pairs of values are specified for each input specify corresponding account combination or segment output value there are two combination input and output these are two combinations or pairs of values for mapping set one or more related pairs of these input values with the segment or account output values from a mapping set use value set or lookup types for validating the input values in case of you are going to build your tab or tab depends on the IC transaction types so in this case you have to define for example value set for your transaction sub and you have to tell to create mapping set this mapping set the input will be transaction type output will be specific account so if the system check this transaction uh, if the input is this transaction type the output will be this specific account let's now get into application i hope now to get something or some information about the tab the blocks the rule everything so let's get into application to start the setup first of thing as i told you to make a balance you have to manage intercompany balancing rule to me to create this receivable and payable account by default once you complete or save the intercompany transactions let's go to cancel and start to start the setup you have to know the setup steps here first of all you have to create and before to create you have to collect your requirement because my requirement not like your requirement you have to analyze you have to know very well your requirement before starting to create the tab or that either for IC procurement payable fixed assets any modules so in case of we are going to create a tab or to generating or automatically generate distribution accounts we have to must complete the following set before of that of for example let me create a new tab chart of account segments for all of us our chart of accounts we have a lot of chart of accounts for our chart of account there are segments right for example segment one segment 2 segment 3 segment 4 segment 5 blah 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 for the segment 1 either company these four line of business account intercompany balancing segment future right maybe you have eight segments I have seven he have six and so on for each segment of this you can create a specific account rule to derive the values of each of these segments for example for line of business i need to make a default zero for future also zero so all of the transactions for e ic the default of future or line of business is zero for the intercompany, I can make the intercompany values depends on the provider and the receiver. If the system found that this organization as a provider, so the intercompany will be one zero. If this Y is a receiver or whatever, the intercompany will be and so on. The account and the company also you can make account or account rule to derive the company and account 
you can make mapping set you can make a specific source you can assign a specific uh, value you can make a formula there are a lot of conditions you can use it to drive the account combinations the other way you can create a specific or a constant combinations to drive the full code combination without any accounting group so I need to use this specific combination for example to f as a default for all of our IC transactions so no need to create any account rule any mapping set anything you have to just sign a combinations and uh, with this combination you will assign a constant values this 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 else the current solution that during create the transactions I need to let the user to enter the account one by one so let's check our segments we have company line of business account cost center product enter company so I can make a default value for line of business for cost center for product for enter company you can maybe create it as a default or not for the account and the company it depends on the provider and the receiver account and organization sorry for the account you have to set up either by transaction type or just the account to drive specific account for the IC either mapping set either transaction type or whatever so let's go to setup and maintenance just write account rule you will find a lot of account rules as I told you it's covered payable cash management fixed assets locate collections receivable blah 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 we need to use our enter company so selected selected and start to create here this is whatever is before so I can create our own so first of all as I told you the set of steps here that you have to create account rule for provider and receiver whatever you will create for the provider you have to create the receiver this is for what to create account rule as a provider distribution that always generates a constant account combination so I will come here I will select provider account rule for the short name it must be capital provider account rule this the same I will take it copy paste so chart of accounts you have to select your chart of accounts right here the rule type are you going to make a rule type for a specific segment for a specific value set or code combination I will select account combination come here to assign the rules we said what that we will assign a specific account combination for this provider so I will come here constant the values will show a pop up your I will select any for example this so I will select OK the same I will create for what for receiver so I will take this copy or this copy save and create another here I will go up and make it receiver and I will put it here as receiver the same here and here our chart of account and the same account combination come here to select it constant as specific code combination you can select the same or whatever and I will select this it just to generate as a default but for each segments now you can manage for these segments I need this value depending on these conditions 
for these segments I need these values depend on these conditions and so on and so on so I will click save and create another now if I go to set up transaction accounting definition and activate it and create any transactions this will be defaulted let us to see just cancel yes and go to done make manage transaction accounting definition and start to create a one for example here there are two right I just need to click just I need to make for example US uh, intercompany tab sorry that C control it will be also the same description what is your chart of account here just I need to make underscore or whatever what's your chart of account US this one once I selected the same our segment this game as you see here all of them is optional you can assign you cannot status you have to focus on the status it's complete so once you do whatever you want you have to make save and activate to be activated so here i can select what i can select our provider and receiver for example if i select provider provider account rule right and here receiver receiver account rule right later we will come to select for example intercompany whatever in segment rules will override whatever in account code com account combination rule what does it mean that later i will come to create for example account rule specific for intercompany segment that if the system finds this transaction or this organization must about this intercompany and again and the game here to assign this account rule in intercompany so the system what he will do he will check here that the intercompany is zero intercompany is zero but here there are a specific account rule you created for a specific only intercompany segment so whatever the rule is here is override the zeros default value in account combi combination rule but now I will continue like this to check the this account combination rule is driving or not just you can also in a once you activate it you can come to inactivate but you first to have to activate error let us to see there is nothing to error view save let me try to save and close again I just uh, make a change the instance because the other instance is not working now so the same but instead of that that I have around instead of our five or six we have around eight or nine segments one segment for company the other for program the other for unit the other for account the other for intercompany and project and future one future two so now 
to build this app as we said before that you have to create a count rule to derive each value for each of these segments so you have the option to just to put a specific full code combination for all of these segments to be defaulted on the transactions or you have to build for each segment specific account rule or you have to create for specific only segments like I need to create a count rule for intercompany segment only for account only for account and intercompany and the company for the project and the unit and the program all of these I need to make them like default value zeros whatever so if I log into application if I click on create rule there are a lot of manage account rules because as I told you that TAD or TAB is covered a lot of applications in financials, payable, cash management, fixed, revenue management, budgetary, all of them we will use our enter company before of show you how manage account control or is implemented I need to give you a brief on transaction accounting definition for manage transaction accounting definition you will find that here you have to put these by default once you go to transaction accounting definition as a TED system give you there are two one for provider distribution account another for receiver you will find all of these fields like null what is this? This is our segment. Whatever you selected here, your chart of accounts. Here you will find all of the segments which is related to this chart of account. Okay. So one for provider, one for receivers. All of them, like as you see here, is optional. For example, I can also only keep account code combination rules and I didn't field or I didn't select any values in all of these segments so once I create IC transactions the system will check the accounting rule for provider account rule and for receivers to drive automatically the accounting of a full combination of provider and receiver whatever in the segments is override whatever in account combination rule. for example if I need to create a specific account rule for intercompany here the intercompany in this code combination I will show it now is zero for example and here I make it depends on the transaction type so the system will trace is there any account rule assigned to the segment or not if not he will consider this as accounting or as a code combination if the there is one account rule is assigned to a segment he will replace whatever value of the same segment in this code combination by the values depends on this account rule also for the account you did you create any account rule for account yes so whatever here the account rule you assigned here it will override the account combination rule so I just cancel yes come back to account rule for account rule you you can create whatever you want for example I, I told you that I need to create account rule for program with a constant value zeros for the intercompany zeros for project zeros for future zeros for future two zeros for example for the unit also zeros so let's take all of this because I will show you what we implemented except account and company and intercompany segment also you can keep intercompany as a zeros or you can make it depends on the provider organizations and the other depends on the receiver organization let's start by whatever the default value for you I just came here if I click on search by for example all 
here future one two intercompany program project unit as I show you here this is also not considered you have to select one of them first of all what is the name the short name all in capital what is the description what is your chart of account what is the rule type rule type there are segment code combinations and I think value set once you select the segment it will show you all of the segments which is related to this chart of account once you select for example segment name here we have for example feature one so we selected feature one come down to rules and select is it constant is it depends on the accounting rule is it from specific source is this mapping set whatever so I make constant zeros so all of the transactions of IC when the users make any transactions the values of the future one will be zeros because I came here and assigned constant zero what else future two the same name short name description your chart of account what is the accounting rule segment name is it what constant what else I have uh, another for example program I have line of business I have a project whatever here also you you just change what the segment name just and select the values from the value or the list of the values so in case of I need to create a new one cancel create the same what is the name test for example here test R method test R what is your chart of account this is my chart of account this is my chart of account in instance structure what is the rule type are you going to assign a specific code combination full code code combination are you uh, create are going to select a specific segment if I select the segment again our segments of our chart of account will come here or are you going to select the value set no I will select a segment which segments for example intercompany then what is the rules I come down what is it constant is it mapping set is it from a specific source so you have to come here and select the specific source and we will see it later for the inter company are you select for from mapping set mapping set you have first to define mapping set like what we will do now and come here and create count rule and make here the value type as a mapping set mapping set it depends on some criteria so I will show it now and again again for whatever the default you have you can make the same or as I told you you can come here and create a full code combination here co account combination what is the values constant select all of the values whatever you need you can create one for provider one for the receivers and you select what is the department all of the values of these segments instead of select one by one up to you then for the provider and receivers I just I just can make search so whatever the defaults we finalized for the provider we have three for the receiver we have three again this is my business requirement I don't know what is your business requirement you have to collect or to got understand very well the concept after that you can apply whatever you want for the provider account rule what we did we create a full code combination account combination like a default we select all of zeros and this is this is like the intercompany balance line but this is will come default if there is no any account rule you defined for the uh, segments or for the account provider as I show you before because as I showed before I need to duplicate 
that you can select only provider for receiver and for provider without creating a count rule for each segment right so I will select their company mm, counting definition this what we define here this this one as I told you before that this is like a full code combination you select as a constant whatever zeros or blah 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 and you come here and assign one for provider and the same you create for receiver is there any relation between here and the provider no only you have to put any names but there is no any field here related to this for this account rule for provider this account rule for receiver when only for when you define transaction accounting definition you have to mention whatever the account rule you have you define for provider and for receiver so you can only this is for some organization is enough please give me this code combination full code combination as a constant for the provider and this full code combination is a constant for receivers i don't uh, need to create any account rule for for each or for any of these segments or segment of the chart of account but in this case now e here all of this is zeros whatever the accounting rule here will replace the values here for example you have for the circle or company i create a provider balancing segment so this will override the values for the balance segment in this full code combination and so on okay so this is one for provider again the same for the receiver you just create a receiver and mention a full code combination what else balancing segment the balancing segment as you know that inter company means it's transaction between organization two three four five six whatever so the balancing segment as a company could balance segments means a qualifier of the company how the system will drive the value of this balancing segment so you have also to create if you need to generate each time a specific code or a specific value for example i have org1 org2 org3 org4 so for org0 org1 i have 001 for example for org2 i have 002 as a code 003 004 so for your IC you have only two org three whatever okay what you decided that you will assign a specific org code for provider and another specific values for the receiver or for each time the system will drive specific code depends on the org name for example if this is a transaction between provider org1 and receiver org2 so you want the system to bring or drive automatically 001 because the provider is org1 and 002 of org2 because the receiver is org2 or you will assign only specific as a default value for all of the transactions in my business case and also i think you, your business case will be the same that every time you will assign a specific provider code organization code and receiver org code depends on the org whatever is mentioned for provider and receiver this is the same what we did here for the provider balancing segment we assigned the same provider balance segment name short name descriptions ajman or whatever the chart of account what is the rule type segment the same this means company circle as a company and instead of select constant i select source 
What is the source? I told the them intercompany providing balancing segment value. This is not custom. This is standard by Oracle. Once you select the value, it gives you two intercompany provider balancing segment value, intercompany receiver balancing segment value. I create one for a provider as you see here. I didn't did anything. I just select my chart for common segment, which one means the segments which is qualified as a balancing segment this you have to select it here come down before we select constant now we select the source please bring the segment of this company from for the provider from intercompany provider for receiver from intercompany receiver cancel come down for the receiver <coughs> sorry here the same receiver receiver blah 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 and source intercompany instead of provider receiver this is for the balancing rule after you define the accounting account rule you have to go to uh, transaction accounting definitions and assign whatever you created here in account rule in TED <coughs> what else in our <coughs> sorry in our business scenarios we assigned account depends on transaction type for example we have transaction we have around five transaction type transaction type one transaction type two three four five for the account only account segment We build our solution for each transaction type, their specific account value set, or uh, sorry, account value. For example, if I create transaction type, when I start to create IC, there is one option. What is the transaction type? I select type one. Once I select the type one, the values of the account will be derived from the accounting rule which I ask which I defined for the account like here one for provider one for receiver but to do that we have to define first the mapping set mapping as we said before that there are two pairs of a mapping set one is input other is output what we define for the input in this case the input will be transaction type what is the output the account code let's go to let me cancel show you mapping set the same mapping set you will find all of these modules we will select enter company and here we define one for provider one for receiver right because we have two organizations three four five whatever one is provider and like one too many okay for the provider we define a mapping set the same what is the name description short name what is the output the output we said account account mean segment this by default it's come like common financial common module what is the input the input in our case is transaction type once the system once the user enters the transaction type the output will be the segment which segment we will define it here so here what is the input source intercompany transaction type attribute one this is by default the value sets you can define a value set for the intercompany either by values or not whatever value set by the values of the transaction types for this so you have to custom the value set for your intercompany transaction type like any value set you create is not a big deal then go to the part of the chart of account what is the chart of account 
and which segment because you select for the output type is segment so once you select the chart of account the system will ask you which segment company intercompany future blah 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 in this case we set the input transaction type the output will account so the, our segment in this case account then come down tell by the system what is the input what is the output the input is transaction type if the system uh, he, the you business users enter close default tax the account will be 39 blah 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 if the uh, business user enter close tax the account will be blah 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 if default blah 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 let me take it screenshot to show you now when we try to create one it will give the same or not and this okay you did it yes so here the company blah 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 what is the value set what is the descriptions and what is the chart of account and which is specific segment or account cancel again for the receiver receiver blah 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 by intercompany transaction the same value set go down and tell them for the input output input this our transaction type and this is the account code value this mapping set for the account depends on transaction type maybe you don't need to create this for the account you, maybe you need to assign a specific account you need to assign a different account or a different mapping set whatever it depends on your requirement for the mapping set also instead of whatever we did for intercompany i also take it before that you can create a mapping set for intercompany to tell the system if you select this intercompany provider the values of the intercompany will be the same again you can go to mapping set define mapping set select output the same segment common go to input what is the input input in this case that in this case you need what you need to achieve that the balancing the segment of the intercompany could depend on the intercompany provider organization and also the same depends on the receiver if the user select provider organization x1 the intercompany account will be x1 if the user select for example receiver uh, org2 the intercompany segments will be org2 this is يعني, for example again this is another example for the mapping set i will show you here go to mapping set select mapping intercompany In this case, this is the output will be segment, right? The same description, description. What is the input? This is our output. Depends on which input, depends on search. You will find all of the inputs which is related to financial common modules. In this case, we our segment is intercompany provider. Intercompany company providing balancing segment value sorry organization okay value set the same then which chart of account your chart of account which segment which your output enter company come down enter for this inter company provider I will select this enter company for again for this enter company i will select this and so on you will create the same for the instead of enter company you will select another one for enter company receiver organization i the same and the come down but not here separately and one for provider save and close 
again come back to mapping set and create another one for uh, the receiver everything is the same go down what is the intercompany provider input what is the output blah 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 to manage the values for the segment of intercompany to manage the value for the account whatever it depends on business requirement that's it that's it this is account rule like after you define the mapping set here again come back to the account rule select account rule for the intercompany and we come here for the provider distribution account select everything segment account here in it first one we select constant the second one we select the source right the source of the balancing segment value third one we to drive the account of the account the value of the account we create a mapping set mapping set between what between one input like transaction type and the output is the segment segment of account as a values once you define mapping set come here select the value type is mapping set system will ask you which mapping set one for provider finish one for receiver one for receiver that's it so now we covered constant having set and source finish now we define the control we define mapping set after you finished you have to go to to create manage transaction accounting definitions system will give you to define you will create one name description chart of account blah 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 for these both you have to pass all of the account rule which you defined before either you passed or not for example i can keep all of this null only this or this with circle only or this with program all of them as you see here as option but depends on whatever you put it here the automatically drive accounting will be depends on accounting rule you assigned here once you assigned or change or whatever you have to save and activate because first status will be as a none or still in progress blah 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 you have to activate to check it's activate correctly or successfully without any issue if you face issues the system will give you issue you have to resolve and again try to activate else you can come here to change it to lock or inactivate make some things and try to again to activate or inactivate and create a new one finish now you need to assign it to what to the ledger to tell them that we will use this tad for our ledger just manage some ledger accounting option select whatever you want from le ledger legal entity ledger because we are going now to assign our tad to ledger this ledger which applications there is no application for intercompany it is financial common modules come here for account option you will find one tad we assigned our it's only optional also but once you defined whatever you come here to assign it to tell the system that for this ledger we will use this tad for our intercompany or whatever the modules again if you have two tad three four five you just came and update save and close now is tad is finished if you come back to transactions transactions enter company transactions I need to click create I create still distribution not there I will select provider transaction type what we said before this our rule if I select the default the account will be six triple one zero one I will come here default blah 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 what is the transactions or the receiver 
this receiver is it will be debit or credit come down just click on add first of thing the account is come drive account automatically right because you define the account rule for each segment or you put specific full code combination second thing what happened you selected the default what is the account come here the same or not default six triple one zero one six triple one zero tab in case of i select close default tax unless i will cancel and create another one and provider here close default tax i close it yes let me bring it again having set having set just provider here again this or the same here if i select the close tax must give me 39110 here close tax just i need to check just come to transactions and select whatever select add just add system will give you three nine and so on so now you achieved the account of the distribution come or drive automatically depends on your account rule and the transaction accounting definitions and also you manage you can manage specific segments depends on the source mapping set count rule default as a constant whatever the in some organizations as i told you you can complete this by create a sandbox to make this field disable for editable editable option will be no to restrict user to change it the other line for the if i click on create now just i need to click credit 20,000 save here transaction is created let me try to click submit the receiver again also and I will put submit Counting date because the counting date is closed. For example, this date submit the intercompany. You must open the intercompany period, whatever the period is not or what. Let me cancel because the period is closed. I just try to open any one before to tell you that the other account which is intercompany balancing rule generated automatically by the systems depends on the first thing we see it that manage intercompany balancing rule for count for payable another account for receivables and for the category source between the ledgers from this ledger to this ledger I hope now you got something about that just I need to tell thank you and also I will appreciate if you have any questions because we are here to support each other to help each other see you thank you